Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at this Lights of America Life Light 22 Watt Preheat Fluorescent Adapter. Picked this up the other week at the Second Use Building Material Place for $2. I thought it was pretty cool to find one brand new in packaging, so of course had to pick it up. I love the packaging too. I like the color gradient here and uh, well just the whole thing in general. The pictures of examples and very cool. Okay, at the top of the packaging, obviously, we have all kinds of benefits of using this wonderful circle line adapter, other than it looking absolutely awesome. The first thing that stands out to me out of all the things on the front here is the fact that this one has a black sticker on it. If you notice the pictures in the background here, they have red information stickers on them, and I believe I have seen and i might have some in the collection that have like green and blue stickers i don't know how they chose what color sticker to put here they all say the same thing energy saver same information they're all the same but they're just different colored stickers i don't know how they chose but for whatever reason there was just different colors used at different points of its life maybe to uh put on here so this one has a black sticker on it which matches the background I do like the uh, the colors here. That's pretty Lights of America E for the time. Very cool. So, obviously, you can put this in any standard incandescent socket that it'll fit in. The pictures in the background you can see on your ceiling, on your wall in your closet, uh, on your wall in the garage. Now, I don't know why you'd have a light right there, you know, on your wall of tools, um, but I feel that would get broken. Of course, in your table lamp, that's a great application. I have one in a table lamp. Um, I have one in that kind of configuration as well. I love these things. They're wonderful. You can replace the bulb when it goes bad. Makes a lot more sense than throwing away as much as we do today with the modern LEDs that uh, when they go bad or start flickering or, you know, real cheap ones, you got to get rid of the whole thing, especially some of them you got to get rid of the whole fixture. Ridiculous. Use this. You'll look much cooler. Okay. On the back of the packaging here, same type of information about the fixture. Of course, you can put this adapter on here to make it a little more pleasing if you don't want to see a bare bulb. I haven't necessarily seen one of those diffusers, but uh, obviously they were a thing. So, i uh, show you how to put it in a traditional lamp here with a harp on it. Of course, you have to take the harp off to do so. And the nice feature here is, uh, well, it, the socket sticks right out of the back, and there's our preheat, our starter. So we will be able to use this bulb in its packaging. Okay, let's take a look at the bulb here, Lights of America, warm white rapid start, even though this is preheat. Japan, though, it says on it. Let's go ahead and screw it into our socket here. Okay, for a great display, let's turn it on. Here we go. Nice. Now, just, just use that as your display advertising this. Of course, the heat's going to be a problem, but that looks pretty cool lit up in its packaging there. Let's turn off the lights. And I'll aim it straight down. Of course, it's not going to be perfect because, well, it's still in its packaging. Now, that looks kind of neat too, don't it? But uh, if I hold it up here and point it straight down, even with the packaging on it, it's definitely not equivalent to a 100 watt bulb. Maybe a 40 watt or something, you know? These things can be quite dim depending on how they're ballasted. But this one is dim. And again, it could be just because of the packaging, the black absorbing a lot of the light. Either way, uh, you can see on the lux meter there, we're getting about 240, 50 lux. Let's see, we're getting watt wise 20.3 watts. Yeah, it's not driving the ball, but it's full 22 watts. And I mean, that's even including the ballast loss because there normally would be some ballast loss there too. So it should be a little over 22 watts, I'd assume. Power factor is 0 0.59, 0.29 amps. Let's see if we can uh, see the starter here a little bit. Nice. Nice argon starter in there. One more time. 
pretty cool. I think it's neat that you can light this up while it's still in its packaging. I like that it's still in its packaging. It's kind of a neat piece of uh, history with these things. Very cool. Okay, well, I'm not sure what else to show about it. You can obviously take the bulb out of the adapter and put different ones in. That's the main feature here because you can just keep reusing the adapter. And I mean, you could put a, a black light blue bulb in here. You could put a daylight. This one's a warm white, cool white. It's all kinds of options. So it's definitely very universal in that regard. So I'll unscrew it here. Now we can unplug the, the bulb here. This is a special little plug that these use with the starter inside here. Um, I have had some in the past where the starter goes bad. Usually what I'll do is take a traditional starter and uh, harvest the insides out of it. Let's see, I actually have one right here. You take the cover off and there's your starter and you just uh, transplant it in there. Uh, but that's what's inside. And uh, that usually resolves the problem. It's just clipped together, so it's not too hard to do. Just a little bit of electrical work and you can replace it, no problem. Just a wonderful bulb, pretty cool to find in its original packaging. Well, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this quick little video of the Slights of America Lifelike Preheat Fluorescent Adapter. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.